he was born dead. It was a battle, you know. I had to fight every day for my son because I felt like the doctors wasn't fighting for him. Taken down by Derek Hall, the SEC Defensive Lineman of the Week. When Derek was born, I was barely five months pregnant. I had bleeding in my brain, getting poked and proud on, and getting all these scans and getting all these x-rays. It's truly a blessing to be able to sit here in front of you today. Derek was on so many machines and equipment. They wanted me to sign a form to take him off of life support because they didn't expect him to live. The doctors made it look so bleak. He'd be a vegetable. He wouldn't have any quality of life. Even though I trusted God and I knew that he could do anything but fail, I was scared. The first time that I knew that he was gonna make it was that I stuck my hand in the incubator and he grabbed it and held to it. And we know then that Derek was gonna pull through. He was very, very small, man, and I was nervous just to be honest with you. I was scared to pick him up. He still was fragile, and he had to have special attention. It was all family that mostly helped out. All hands on deck. I just felt like he deserved the shot, and I had to be the one to give it to him. So I worked Monday through Friday from 8 to 5, and I went to school from 6.30 to 10.30 at night. I don't know. Too many people that would have the ambition and job to do that. One thing I say about her, man, is that the, she's probably the strongest woman I know. She's my superhero. She's my Wonder Woman. She's the person who kept me living. Growing up preemie, it was a lot of ups and downs, a lot of in and out of the hospital. At the age of four, that's when I got introduced to the game of football. Most kids could run all day, and that's something that I just didn't have the lung capacity to do. And I feel like that was the biggest challenge for me because football became my way of escape. Asthma, shortness of breath, chest begins to tighten up. I also dealt with asthma myself, but I understood though, even though you're dealing with some things, man, you know, you still have to work hard. When you're tired, that's when you have to dig deep. You can do anything that you put your mind to. There's nothing that you can't do. And I just want to thank all of y'all, my family, my friends. Without you, I don't know what I'd be right now. I always say Derek had a great village. These are folks that grew with him. When I needed them, they were there. If you ain't got family, you ain't got nobody. They know every time I come home, those spades is huge, and everybody going crazy, playing cards and having fun. Family is the most important thing, and I just want y'all to know I love y'all, and I appreciate all your support for Derek throughout the years. Derek has been giving back since he was a young man. He loves helping others. He loves giving back, and especially to the community here in Gulfport. In the fall of 2022, the residents of Jackson, Mississippi, went through one of the worst water crises in recent history. Derek Hall donated the money he earned through name, image, and likeness to his home state. When the pipes burst in Jackson, due to systematic failures, when you have little babies, can't have clean drink of water. And then watch your state from afar going through this. He said, this ain't right. This young man made sure five 18 wheeler foot of water, supplies, disaster relief kits came. He made sure that happened. I shipped a lot of pallets up there to be able to have opportunity just to show my love and, and, and affection for this state of Mississippi. Anywhere he go, anything he do, he gonna make the organization and the people better for it. And what are you doing for us on the Gulf Coast? It's bar none. Good things come out of something bad sometimes, you know. Just think, if we would decide not to have him, 
Look what we'd have missed. Taken down by Derek Cole. First explosiveness, he's got that. See, one. people think it's just go for it. He carrying the whole coast and the state on his back. Auburn's Derek Hall. He's one of the best bull rushers in the entire draft. He's had this dream as a young man. I just know he's going to do great things and change the world. When I see him out on that field, man, he's just like, wow, that's my nephew. Not a lot of kids get opportunity to play this, this game at this level, but also not a lot of kids from the state of Mississippi. I'm just trying to make everyone proud.